Remember websites like this? No, you, you probably don't because you're like 15. Nostalgic pages formulated in basic HTML. Silly GIFs and wacky website designs. If you saw a website like this today, you would assume your old uncle Larry just got a computer and is trying to figure out how to make a website for his side hustle where he whittles pieces of wood to look like forest animals. Nowadays, we get horrid sites like this. Websites where you just sort of physically cringe when you look at them. Web 2.0 ushered a lot of this stuff into existence. So social media pages where a million people are screaming at once, letting you know about everything they do, each drop of poop in the toilet, every selfie, each waking thought. The internet wasn't always like that, though. Before the 2000s ushered in a wave of junk, the internet had websites like spacejam.com, which you can actually still find by going to spacejam.com 1996, at least at the time of making this video. So that's cool. At least I can stare at this website late night at 3am and shed a single tear. In this video, I sort of just want to go through cool websites website designs. Old websites that are forgotten to the past, and then show you some gross, ugly modern websites too, plagued by a homogenous UI and rotted with social media features. So let's reminisce a bit. Welcome to Pepsi World. <laughs> this website genuinely looks like a joke. If you were to see a website like this now, you would assume this was ironic, right? You wouldn't believe that this was real, but this is what the 90s looked like. And honestly, this is kind of fucking cool. <laughs> There's some aesthetic here. A website would never look like this now. In fact, if we take a look at Pepsi.com right now, you know, it looks like a, 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 a mobile site almost. You know, you have these drop downs with this UI. And I mean, it's kind of fancy. I mean, they got some like cool JavaScript going. If I had ad block off, I'd probably get be getting 19 ads to uh, buy Pepsi Max Zero or whatever. Scroll down through the website and you just see these ads and commercials are playing and it's just you're just spammed with flashy little bubbly UI popping through the screen. But Pepsi World, that was kind of cool, huh? <laughs> if you have the Shockwave plugin, click here. I wonder what happens if we click here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that looks, that looks correct. This website that I'm using to view this, by the way, is called the, uh, the Wayback Machine, web.archive.org, which is a great way to look at really old snapshots of websites. Honestly, this is probably one of the greatest ways to archive web history ever. You can put in any website and then just find snapshots from different points in time. Like, I guess here's one from 2013. You can see that people have stopped snapshotting the website, probably because it's not fucking interesting to look at Pepsi.com anymore. <laughs> I clicked on uh, some random Pepsi snapshot from like 2003, and now my entire computer looks like it's downloading a virus. Um, <laughs> everything's just flashing. <laughs> Pepsi! <laughs> Give me back my computer! Pairing modern UI to old UI is kind of an interesting debate. Some people would prefer the new, some people prefer the old. Take a look at YouTube, for example. Which, by the way, they recently added this super thanks button. This is how I integrate a plug into the video. Isn't that funny? <laughs> you can click this button, and then you can you can give a little tip if you like the video. This is actually kind of cool, because I don't make like any money from YouTube. Uh, so subscribe to my Patreon and give me a super thanks. YouTube's page has always sort of looked consistent, right? I mean, the UI has updated a bit, but the biggest change is on the actual page itself. I've grown to sort of like how this page has evolved. In fact, I'm not that unhappy about the modern UI layout. There was a time period where it was much worse before they've kind of fleshed it out, but it's gotten a little better. YouTube's page used to look like this. This is around like, you know, 2012, 2011. I guess this is, yeah, February 29th, 2012. You could really customize the look of your page. And I mean, this is already way past Web 2.0. We're already in the age of social media and whatnot, but you could add these kind of custom sidebars. You could have a banner. You could really customize your page. You could change the color of all these backgrounds of all the text modules. Modern UI has really moved away from this. There's not as much customizability. By the way, Donkey was doing vaporwave aesthetics in like 2012. Holy shit, look at this. <laughs> it's kind of a shame that on, you know, modern YouTube or modern Twitter or whatever, there's not as much of this customizability. It'd be cool to make all of my social media pages look as customizable as I want it. I want to put like random drawings on the side and just fucking buttons. I want it to look like you got hacked when you go onto my YouTube page. This isn't a website I particularly frequented uh, when I was young. I just asked you guys on Twitter to give me <laughs> funny old websites. <laughs> look at this guy with the handlebar must. It just says hunger. <laughs> Hunger. <laughs> Where is this guy? Will Obneman. I don't know what this is. This might be a cult. This one might actually be ironic. I'm not sure. This one might be ironic. This is from 2006. Oh, my CPU interval is at 6 milliseconds. Holy shit, that's really good. Whatever happened to the good old days, man? When they let me drive my Mercedes, my red Mercedes through the page. 
<laughs> Why can't I do this anymore, huh? This makes me want to cry and shit and piss and vomit really any bodily fluids it's coming out <laughs> just, this is just sad to look at i mean this is just this is just sad websites don't want to look like this anymore because i guess they feel it's old or whatever but it just makes me think about how logos in general or ui design in general has gotten much less creative i mean look at google's logo you go from this like wacky 90s shit to just the letter g it's just the letter g man that's it that's all you need just a fucking g and this is more colorful than like most logos in existence <laughs> fucking ad advertisement what is this even trying to give me this would take me a whole year to read like they're overlaying it i can't even see anything personal at monthly is is stay for charge personal yeah i'll buy it right now it's mine give me i remember the fuck out of these things i used to own one of these it was so cool i don't even know what it did i don't even know if i ever plugged it into the computer to but it looked cool <laughs> nowadays if a company made this it would for sure like install adware on your computer and survey you okay this is one example where i don't think we should go back <laughs> we should not go back to this also this person is listening to hooba stank <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> 2009 was just a different time, man. This went so hard as a soundtrack to Rock Lee vs. Gara, you have no idea. Oh my god, CartoonNetwork.com, look at this shit. Nintendo.com. It's just so fun, I just wish people made websites like this still. So. This just makes me want to click. Get in gear? Okay, I'll I'll get in any gear you want me to get in, I'm fucking in. Let me into the code bank. Modern UI is just boring, man. I mean, this is just, this is a robot's asshole. I'm looking at the inside of a robot's asshole. I'm lubing up the metal right now. What is this? I don't want to click a button that says purchase quick. It's blue, white font. I want to fucking click get in gear. <laughs> Everything looks like a fucking Apple computer. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of this is slick. It can look slick, but there's something just so nostalgic about <laughs> Roblox.com. <laughs> Fuck Google. Real gamers use far too. I mean, this is just, uh, this should be illegal. The, this UI should be literally illegal. We should strap Zuckerberg to a chair and force him to stare at this screen for 96 hours. Actually, he'd probably enjoy it. He'd, he'd probably just start, he'd probably he'd start zerking it. This is probably mostly due to the fact that web wants to kind of unify with mobile UI. And so, you know, everyone's used to looking at things on their cell phone. So why not move it over to the actual website itself? Me neither, Tom. Me neither. Hey, did you know that the US last year spent $285 billion on ads on the internet? I mean, I guess this makes sense, but digital media accounts now for 64, over 64% of ad dollar allocation which you know just goes to show the internet is just a corporate husk at this point you have 10 websites to do everything and you see ads all i mean i don't see ads because i use ad block like a real man honestly i'd rather live in the age of accidentally clicking on a picture that leads me to meatspin.com and getting a trojan virus than you know having to see another fucking walmart wonder bread ad and now that i've said walmart wonder bread out loud my phone is probably going to give me a bread ad next time I'm scrolling through Twitter. Like, I get it, this website looks like fucking feces, but I'd rather have this than another fucking Clash of Clans ad. You know the fucking mobile ads on Twitter? Where it's like, <laughs> there's these mobile ads on, uh, let me pull this up. Have you guys seen this shit? It's, it's a mobile ad and it always starts out with this girl's like giant ass, and then it always just turns into like a zombie advertisement. I hate this shit. If I see no, I mean, I'm gonna see ads like this now. The, my phone is listening to me, so I'm gonna see ads for zombie empire like all day long so what are you supposed to take out of all this i don't know whatever you want really <laughs> maybe you like a lot of modern ui maybe you like the simplified web but personally i find it a bit depressing it's not even because i want the web to be rid of javascript and modern frameworks i don't necessarily want to just return to irc chat and play neopets all day but there is a sort of sadness in the modern structure of the web never mind the aesthetic or the nostalgia the internet used to be a place where the user found what they wanted to see once facebook and other social media websites gave birth to the new web, the internet became a place where corporations started finding us what they want us to see, what they think we should see, what the algorithm determines we must see, not what we actually want to see. Today, the internet is narrower in scope, a place of information gathering and ad revenue. Instead of finding small niche groups, we are all put in one big pool and force-fed whatever the algorithm dictates for us. This is partly why websites are just less cool. Everything's homogenized. You don't get a cool forum or a specialized website. Everyone goes to the exact same website and talks about everything all at once. 
good movie, by the way. I find this sort of sad, though. I wish we could just stop something like this, but at this point, the web is monopolized. You go to YouTube to watch a video, you go to Amazon to buy a new item, and eBay to buy a used one. You go to Twitter to doom scroll, and you go to Reddit to pretend you're a 34-year-old heart surgeon with an unlimited breadth of knowledge who can never be wrong. The web is a homogenized system, a monopolized net, and I just want to go back to playing Neopets, man, before they started making fucking NFTs. <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs>